Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. Well, as the title says, we have a special malt in the collection today. About 10 minutes after doing that centipede video today, I noticed one of my favourite tarantulas in my collection has freshly malted. And it's come from my Pocletheria metallica, my Gooty Sapphire Ornamental. Um, as you know everyone, she's around about a 6 inch female. But now she is actually malted, she probably ran about the six and a half to seven inch uh, leg span now. So I've just got my light down here and there's a malt just there. Let's just turn the uh, light off on the uh, iPhone. So everyone, this is what I actually noticed about 10 minutes after doing that uh, centipede video today. And she'll be at the back of the enclosure. I can see one of her back legs just at the bottom of the screen there. So let's take the enclosure off the shelf and uh, let's take a closer look. And there she is everyone. She's decided to uh, move for us. Oh my God. She's looking absolutely beautiful now. And looking absolutely huge. She has put on some, some size. Last night she was actually on the court bark and I had a little feeling she was going to molt because her colours were looking very very dull and she's having a, a walk round don't worry guys the lid's still on <laughs> I did take the lid off but I've just put it back on so everyone a few times I've mentioned that uh, about the fangs after they molt they go from white to red and uh, obviously they were probably white last night when she was molting but yeah, they've turned red now. And after probably four or five days, they'll turn probably black. But I'll give her probably a good ten days, two weeks to recover from her malt. I actually bought her back in 2011, everyone. As a three centimetre sling. Obviously unsexed, because... Uh, very small to sex at that kind of uh, size. So yeah, I've had her a while now, six years. And she's been a beautiful tarantula. Not very um, aggressive. I'd say she's more skittish than anything. She likes to run off and hide. But so uh, yeah, you can see them beautiful colours now. So yeah, I've had her a while now. There is a better picture, everyone, of her colours absolute fresh and i've managed to uh take the lid off without disturbing her too much i don't want to uh stress her out so yeah like i said i'll probably give her around about 10 days just to let her settle down and recover from her malt. i'll leave the malt inside there until tomorrow uh, i don't think i'm going to get her at any closer picture than that because the the glass on the inside is uh, very, very uh, dirty on the inside. So I don't think I can get a, a clear, clear picture. That's a little bit closer. It's about the closest I can get, everyone, with the zoom on this phone. Absolutely beautiful. So it would have been nice to catch the uh, the actual malt in a, in, in a time lapse, but... Uh, she must have malted when I was asleep, so there's not much you can do about that, I'm afraid. But she's looking absolutely beautiful now. I don't know whether to breed her or not. Um, I could buy a, a juvenile peel Metallica and hopefully it will turn out to be a male. But um, yeah, there's just something to consider in the future. You never know, I could, uh, could mate her. She's a, a good size now. As I said, probably around about 7 inches now. Fully grown, adult female. So I've just filled up the uh, the water dish down there. So she can have a, a drink. And I've just give the uh, enclosure a mild spray. So I'll leave her now to relax and stretch out like pokies do. And uh, thanks for watching everyone. 